In the video on computational thermodynamics, we saw about these Gibbs energy descriptions. The Calfet method essentially is calculating different phase diagrams or property diagrams from available Gibbs energy descriptions. So what are these Gibbs energy descriptions? Where do they come from? These are essentially modeled by uh, people who work on this Calfet methodology. They, for example, you can see here thermodynamic modeling of certain alloy system. So this kind of terms are used for the publications, the modern modeling, thermodynamic evaluation, and experimental study and reassessment. Sometimes it is assessment, sometimes it is reassessment, and critical assessment and thermodynamic modeling. Then thermodynamic description, thermodynamic assessment, thermodynamic assessment. So these are the different names, thermodynamic assessment. This is a, these are the different names. The most common one is thermodynamic assessment and also thermodynamic modeling. Uh, so with these names, the publications have this Gibbs energy descriptions. So I scroll down to one of the publications here. You can see here we have this table full of the Gibbs energy descriptions can see here the liquid phase containing aluminium titanium and oxygen uh, that is a sub lattice model and the Gibbs energy descriptions are given here these are functions of temperature composition dependency it's also taken care here so that is how the Gibbs energy uh, descriptions are published this is out of a procedure called thermodynamic assessment a curve fitting procedure after critical evaluation of input thermodynamic data so these are the outputs of that process so once this data is published, this data is compiled into a file like this. This is called a TDB file. You can see the extension here. This is for this particular system, uh, silver, copper, zirconium, dot TDB, thermodynamic database. And this is published in 2022. A silver, copper, zirconium system. So let me open that. Okay. This is the table file from that particular publication. The copper silver zirconium system these are the models used we call it sub lattice formalism and these are the parameters Gibbs energy descriptions given here this for the liquid phase and this for the fcc phase and so on okay so let us see how these things are compiled into a tdb file like this okay so you can see here element is written in the very top and uh, the elements like electron gas and vacuum these are not elements in periodic table, but these are uh, different species which can be used in the model. And these are the three elements that are included in this system, silver, copper and zirconium. And FCC, FCC is the crystal structure of silver and copper at room temperature, uh, at atmospheric pressure. So we call them standard elemental reference crystal structures. And uh, HCP is uh, zirconium's crystal structure. And there are three columns here. The first one is the atomic mass of these elements and uh, the second column is the enthalpy with respect to standard elemental reference state and this is the entropy okay and then comes the descriptions and uh, first is the unary descriptions so you can see function g liquid ag so some functions are described here with the names like this g liquid ag is silver's gibbs energy in its liquid state and uh, you know silver doesn't exist in uh, liquid state at 298 kelvin temperature uh, but we have the description for liquid silver at this temperature so this is coming from sgte database sgte is scientific group thermodata europe they have standardized the unary description single element uh, gibbs energy descriptions in different crystal structures uh, basically the fcc bcc hcp and the liquid structures so from 298 till there is this 1234 so within this temperature range this is the Gibbs energy description for a liquid silver similarly from this 1234 to 3000 kelvin this is the description for liquid silver 
okay so that is g liquid silver then comes g liquid copper g liquid zr then we have this ghscr which is nothing but g of fcc silver so since fcc is the silver crystal structure at room temperature we call this ghscr standard elemental reference okay so this is silver slips energy in fcc structure and then ghscr copper and then ghscr zirconium is also here so three ghscrs are described and then we have gfcc zirconium so you know zirconium doesn't exist in uh, room temperature uh, in fcc structure but we have the description for that from room temperature till 6000 this is the gibson energy description for that and uh, for zirconium or for silver in bcc structure copper in bcc structure and for zirconium in bcc structure silver in hcp copper in hcp so we have these three basic crystal structures fcc bcc hcp descriptions along with liquid state description for these three elements so they are all described as functions here these are unary functions okay, single element descriptions then comes some uh, part of coding uh, this is to uh, do with calling this data in the software so uh, right now understanding the general structure of a tdb file we don't need to go into details of this so then comes individual phase gibbs energy descriptions uh, you can see here liquid is marked so if you write something after this dollar symbol it is not considered as a syntax it's just a comment for our reference and then you see there's some syntax is coming so we define the phase like this phase liquid and some symbol this is related to the definition here in the top so don't bother then comes these numbers 1 and 1.0 1, 1 this is uh, to do with the model the model has one sub lattice and the occupancy of the sub lattice is one so then we have the uh, constituents in that phase these three phase three elements are in that single sub lattice so that's what it means ag copper silver in liquid so if you refer to the publication you can see here phases models silver copper zirconium is given here okay so this is the model one single sub lattice in which all three elements are present and the occupancy of the sub lattice is one okay so this is described here like this for zirconium okay and then G of liquid silver, only the Gibbs energy of liquid silver should be entered here, which is already described as a function. So we just have to call that function here. That's all. Similarly, for copper and zirconium in liquid state, descriptions are here. Then comes binary interactions, silver and copper, Sil AG, comma, copper. Okay, this means that we are talking about a binary interaction. And this is the description for that okay and uh, silver copper zero how is it written in the tdb file you can see here l l parameter is nothing but the interaction parameter we call it g in the description in the tdb file that's okay and we have l of liquid ag comma zr this L stands for uh, interaction parameter, so don't confuse that with the uh, liquid state. Okay, liquid is separately written here. Okay, this L comes for even FCC. You can see here. Okay, so L is just interaction parameter. You can write it as L or G in the TDB file. Doesn't matter. So here, let us come back to silver, uh, zirconium in liquid structure. This is the first interaction parameter that is L0. There is a L1 also with AGZR in liquid state. Okay. So this 0 and 1 say that there are two different descriptions for this uh, AGZR liquid state and both are to be considered. This takes care of the composition dependency. So we have to write it like this G liquid AG, comma, copper colon 0 colon 1. So you can see this colon 1 and colon 0. Okay, this is where those two descriptions from that publication should be appearing. Okay, so this is how we uh, kind of copy paste the data from here.
okay but we have to one has to be careful here this minus plus that this dot these things are not uh, to be entered directly here uh, or pasted directly here one has to be careful in writing this minus plus and this multiplication symbols and so on okay so this particular format with with these different uh, uh, symbols here all those have to be exactly followed then we can use tools like database checker in thermocalc to error correct okay so like this for every phase this is for the fcc this is for bcc and so on okay so some some uh, uh, some extra contribution can be appended like you can see here in ges module append uh, to the append phase description this apd uh, in hcp phase magnetic contribution is appended so that is how extra contributions are appended ordering can be appended like this so on okay. so once it is all compiled usually the in this particular uh, tdb there is no reference before this exclamation mark we can give a reference number ref certain number and then describe what is that ref at the very end here references we can separately type okay that's about the ddb file